We're living in a society that's instant gratification and our kids know that. Media tells us we can be happy whenever we want, we can get whatever we want, when we want it. Um, the world is ours and when that doesn't happen and when our students don't have that instant gratification, that's when they can really fall down. And I think for, for me personally and for watching the, the students that I teach and the other teachers here, that's what we've really noticed about these students with the Resilience Project. It's been that reminder that slow down, enjoy the small things and actually it's not all about you and if you choose kind and you see things that you can be grateful for or have empathy for, it's actually really reflective on you and makes you a better person. Unless we've got good health and wellbeing in our students, they won't be able to take risks in their learning and focus well in those key learning areas. So it's really important for us that we are mindful to present different learning opportunities uh, and that we make sure that we incorporate programs like the Resilience Project to help them be the best that they can be every day and achieve success. We talked about being grateful for what you have in our school especially, like we have computers, we have iPads, we have a STEM room, we're just really lucky. After hearing Martin speak about gratitude, empathy and mindfulness, the students were hanging off every word and this year we've seen a huge change in the gratitude and the empathy. Staff are doing things um, with their classes to make little acts of kindness. We ran a huge uh, fundraiser for an orphanage in Mongolia and the focus was gratitude and empathy and the students just absolutely loved it. But the mindfulness aspect is something that we're all still wanting more um, from, more resources, more ideas, more support. So the app came in and that's a huge focus of the app um, and looking at it, it looks fantastic as short, daily, simple things that we can implement with ourselves as staff, um, but also with our classes to listen to, then to discuss as well, but just to benefit from. Oh, I really like the app because I liked how you could put in what you were what you were feeling because I feel like that could really help people with like their feelings and yeah, if you can talk about it, then it'll make you feel a lot happier. I try to use the app every morning, every night. My whole family, me and my parents, use it uh, every, every day just to see how we're feeling. Being aware of your feelings, being, being aware of emotions and being able to label them and self-diagnose, if you like, younger, I wish I'd had it. And you know, having the tools as a parent to support and compound that is, is really powerful and amazing. Teachers are always looking to tap into you know, materials and resources wherever we can get them. And when you're using something that makes sense, it's easy to use and it promotes your practice as well and reminds you that you have to be in a good headspace before you can ask your students to be in one. So I think that as a teacher, it's a really valuable tool for us as well to use. And then we can encourage the students to tap into it as well.